Hello and welcome to um, tutorial number 10. Um, in the last tutorial we were talking about um, the contact forms and we let's just open um, this up just to show you what we were doing. I'm sure you can remember. Um, yeah, we were talking about the um, text boxes, the drop down menus and the radio buttons and also the submit buttons. Well in this tutorial we're going to finish off and talk about um, the check boxes and the actual form element itself. Um, okay, so let's get started shall we? What we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a little check box here saying um, would you like to um, subscribe to our newsletter? Um, so they have the option of saying yes or no uh, to this. So let's look at our, our code that we've already written. So what we're going to do first of all is just to make it a little bit tidier is we're going to um, let's have a look what I missed out here. Well just before we missed out a paragraph tag here and a paragraph tag here and we're going to move um, this up to the top so the title is now at the top. Now um, obviously we have asking whether the person's uh, Mr. or Mrs. Well that's that's good. So um, yeah okay. Right well, now down at the bottom what we're going to do, I'm getting a little bit flustered here, uh, I'm not going to restart. Okay what we're going to do is we're going to make, uh, let's make this code a little bit bigger so you can see and we'll um, get rid of this toolbar. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to enter um, a new paragraph tag and we're going to say, um, first of all, we're going to put a checkbox. Okay, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So, input type equals checkbox, name equals, well, newsletter. Uh, it's always best to give it a name that actually goes to what you're, you're doing. Um, and name equals checkbox name is newsletter that's it and we're just going to say um, subscribe uh, to my newsletter and we'll save this out come back to our form and as you see here um, we can now check this or uncheck this so the person person basically has the option of um, subscribing or not subscribing um, that's it's pretty simple uh, really to do um, like we said with the um, the radio buttons they're they're boolean they're basically true or false so we need to have um, two of them you can have five six seven of them and so on but they all need to have the same name um, but with the checkbox predominantly um, it's just basically its own entity it's either yes or no uh, which is on or off um, okay now next what we're going to do is a form is is no good without I'm just going to zoom out again uh, is no good without an actual form element. Okay, so what we have to do is wrap the whole form that we have here. Let's go back to here. This is our whole form from top to bottom, even with the submit button. Uh, we have to wrap this in a form tag, okay, which I'm going to show you now. So we'll come uh, to, we'll leave the H1 tag out of it because it's not actually relevant. Uh, so form here. Now this has um, a couple of um, attributes. Now we need to tell uh, the form uh, where what um, documents, as in a PHP document or HTML document or ASP or, or whatever, is going to process uh, this form. So we say action, okay, and equals and um, apostrophes. Now. Um, I'm going to be teaching you in the PHP tutorials how to process this form. So what we're going to say is form underscore process dot PHP. So basically what this means is, is when someone clicks the submit button, uh, all of the data with inside the form elements is going to be sent to the form underscore process dot PHP. Now there's a method of doing this. There's two methods, which is post or get. Now I'm going to move on to this later on within uh, the PHP tutorials, but for the time being, um, I th the best best thing to remember is post. Okay, um, the, I, I will go into post and get in the PHP tutorials, but for the time being, just remember method equals post. So it's form action equals the um, the element the form 
that it's going to process it and method equals post. There's also a couple, there's also another um, parameter as well or attribute should I say for it but we don't need to know about that at the moment. So this needs to go right underneath the um, submit button. Submit button being um, one of the most important elements within the form um, because it needs to actually say yes send that form uh, now. Okay so we'll save this and uh, if we if we refresh it it still looks the same um, and it, when we come to our source code as you can see now it's it's all, all there. Okay that's pretty much it for um, the form um, tutorials there's well actually we'll show you um, quickly the reset button working I showed you in the previous tutorial um, but now it's got the form um, element with inside of it um, I can now show you the reset button uh, properly so what we'll do is we're just going to copy um, the the paragraph holding the um, actually we're going to put it inside this paragraph so it looks nice and tidy so if we just copy the um, submit button it, um, and then just paste it above Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to rename it to reset and value equals uh, reset whoops. and then the type is reset so let's just control s to save this come back to our um, form and as you can see now there's a reset button now if we basically put on, on mister now and we fill out this form so let's go down to this and say uh, thorn and then I mail um, yes I'm going to subscribe to my newsletter and let's first of all submit it and just to show you where this is going to go well it's going to go to form underscore process dot php which doesn't exist at the moment so the screen is going to go white well let's click it and there we go because there's no form there okay well uh, that's what would happen it would go to this form with all of this data now if I click resets it clears everything and puts it back to the default settings um, okay so what about if I show you um, just quickly I'm not going to get into a PHP um, lesson but let's let's do this again let's um, let's fill this out and I'll, I'll show you in a second what we're going to do is I want to show you the quick um, difference between post and get okay now what we want to do is we want to look up here at um, the the actual address bar itself okay now I said before that we're on um, post okay so nothing gets sent you might as well just trust me for what, what I'm saying that will go to the page saying error and nothing will be up here okay but if I change this to get then and we are oh, gonna lose all this data oh, no, I didn't. okay and I press submit now you can see up here title equals mister first name equals David surname equals thorn blah 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 all of the the elements within inside the form are now within the address bar this is um, for PHP okay so um, that's that's what you need to remember that's the difference if you put post it won't put any of the information um, up within the the address bar and if you put get it will put all this information this is a whole two or three lessons in PHP so please do not baffle yourself by thinking you didn't understand it okay um, just remember that's what you need to do um, otherwise um, we've just seen the reset there it is okay that was tutorial number 10 um, the next tutorial we're going to start moving into um, div tags um, and, and showing you about them and then um, that's pretty much going to be the last HTML, HTML tutorial and we'll move on to the CSS because div tags um, they need CSS to format them. Um, I think you've done very well if you've got to this point and you're understanding it um, and we'll fi finish up with uh, tutorial number 11 and then we can move on to the joy of CSS and actually structuring um, a website. Um, thank you very much uh, my name is uh, David Thorne please visit me at www.thornwebdesign or um, contact me at www.thorne-design.de okay my pleasure um, for helping you here and goodbye <laughs>